Hey guys, Hank Get Kid here. All right, we're gonna go over uh, my tip top five games um, that I think deserve a remaster of some sort. So here, and um, when I was making this list, I think a few things in mind were I enjoyed playing as a little kid growing up. So a lot of these games, I think if not all of them, are from either early two thousands or uh, somewhere in the nineties. So here we go. Uh, before we start, let me go over just a few things. Um, and I'm going to order them first. Um, these are all games that, as far as I know, they have not been remastered. They might have been re-released. Um, a few of them I know were re-released, -re recombined them digitally, but they were not fully remastered. Um, to my knowledge, I might be wrong on this, but that was the uh, first kind of criteria I was looking at, and the others were, were they really uh, appreciated or not. So uh, let's get started, shall we? Alright, first one, number five, is going to be Pokemon Snap. Um, now the reason this one is number five is it's probably the first game I ever played a lot of, or 100% in it. I played everything in it, I maxed it out uh, multiple times, tried to go as fast as I can, getting everything, as, you know, everything unlocked, trying to find all the secrets, um, and that was probably back when I was eight or nine. This game is great. I really think of uh, how many different Pokemon there are now, and, uh, how gaming technology has evolved, there's definitely room for them to do a Pokemon Snap remastered or another Pokemon Snap like game. So that's why this one is number five on the list. Okay, game number four going up the list is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. This game, um, it's really hard to explain. It was an awesome game. It was a great time killer. It had a good story to it. Um, there was just a lot to this game that, uh, that it's, it's old. I, played, I think I played this before Pokemon Snap. This was a Super Nintendo game. Um, to this day, um, I know it is actually one of the most sought after Super Nintendo games. A lot of collectors that I know. Um, or like they hung this game. I think one guy had uh, paid like a couple hundred for it for a full set um, with the box, the manual, everything in, in good condition. Uh, this game was a great game. It was a lot of fun. It was multiplayer, which made it even better. Um, you could play as all the turtles. I think it was four player. Um, you go all the way through, and it's about how the Ninja Turtles were kind of hopping through time. Uh, it, was, it was just a great game. It was really a lot of fun, and in my opinion, especially. Uh, it deserves some kind of remaster, um, I think, with the uh, talent. Ninja Turtle thing that are still going on. We just had the, the two movies with, with Mega Fox. Yeah, no, they weren't that good, but uh, then there's the cartoon show, and they just relaunched, I think they just relaunched another one. They definitely have room to remaster this uh, this game. And definitely get a. They'll definitely sell some copies. I mean, even if it's just a digital download, digital only. I would buy a copy of this number four because while it was, it was a great game, it was amazing. Uh, the gameplay was quite simple, and it was also just uh, you know it was, it was it was an older game, it was quite simple, and uh, it was also tedious. Um, so that is why it's number four.
Sorry, the last game of the list. Um, the reason this repeated out um, was because um, it is on a two disc. However, it did things that Kona uh, 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 Legend Dragon did not. Uh, uh, Kona Cross had better cutscenes. Uh, I, I had better artwork. Uh, the story was really, really driven. Um, this is another game I never finished because of reasons in the disc mal 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 uh, mishandling of disc. With that, but it is also on my list of hunting down and trying to find. Um, it's a great game. I highly recommend it. I mean, I really, it really it deserves a remaster. Um, it really does. The cutscenes, they were very, very well done. The story was amazing. They had twists and turns. And the story was more complicated than the shows that we have that we, that we watch now, that we release now. Uh, but the reason this game beat out Legend Dragoon for slot number two, um, in my opinion, is the characters. Um, every RPG game has characters that you can pick up, um, and unless I was just really good at picking up characters in Legend Dragoon, this one had characters that we only could pick up if you did certain side quests and uh, found certain items and gave them to them or and all those other things. You had so many characters that uh, I also believe it had, it had multiple endings. Um, so you had know, you know, multiple endings plus all these characters that you can choose to play with or not. Um, there were characters that you, if you didn't, and none of them you could go back and get. If you did not get them at a certain time, you couldn't go back and just pick them up later. You had to do like one of the characters. If you you, you had to pick up that character, it was a dog-like character, before you fell through the time uh, the uh, wormhole to uh, like a, par a parallel world. Otherwise, you you didn't get it. Or him, you didn't get that character.
final game on this list is Half-Life, negative, negative, regional Half-Life. Uh, not Half-Life 2 or Half-Life 2, Episode 2. Um, the reason this game is on here is because it's got, um, um, most of it's got, I look at it through a nostalgia filter, it's got some, uh, some uh, close spots in my heart for multiple reasons. One, it was, uh, it's probably my second shooter I ever beat. My first shooter I ever beat was, uh, Devil's Ever Was Not Enough. But this one, my dad installed my computer because I complained about all my games being too easy. I think I was about seventh grade, and, uh, the reason he did it is because he was stuck at a part at the very beginning. I can't, it's been so long since I played it, but there was this beast, and it was pecking in this, you know, it wasn't even two hours into the gameplay, and he was stuck, and he couldn't beat it, and, and I, I came behind him, and I think it would be like a couple of days. Um, but so this nostalgia filter is close to my heart, though, because it's the second shooter I ever, I ever played through B. It's the first M rated game I ever played. Um, it's just an amazing game. It's so popular. Half-Life 2 is so popular. There's still there's still calls online for Half-Life 3 to be made or to continue of the Half-Life story because it left on a cliffhanger. Um, are they going to do that? I don't know. Um, I really hope they do. Like, this game deserves a remaster. Um, to this day, I've, I've looked, I have this game on PlayStation 2. Um, to this day, um, I, like when I bought it, it cost me 30, about 30 bucks uh, at a used game store. Um, I don't know how much it is digital online, but I have found it in the upwards of hundreds of dollars, brand new. If you can get it brand new on PS2. Um, so it is a very sought after game. It's a great game. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's challenging. Uh, it's got a great story. And for the time it was made, the graphics that we had at the time, even this was just back in 98, this, this was. 20 years ago, so now, uh, or over just over 20 years, it, it was an amazing, amazing game. Um, so if you have not played the original Half-Life, if you have a PS2, I highly suggest it. That is my number one pick for this list. All right, guys. guys that's everything for this list um, I wanted to do this video uh, because get back to my roots a little bit um, of gaming uh, videos is where I started Go branched off into movie reviews and movie theater reviews and now I've done some political commentary um, so but I wanted to get back to my original uh, roots of a gamer um, so uh, that, that was the whole point of this video um, remember to hit that like and subscribe button hit that notification bell all right to stay in touch Leave a comment below if you if you agree or disagree with my my list. If you thought maybe another a game deserved to be somewhere else on here, uh, I would like to hear about it. If I if I haven't played it, I would love to even even just find it and play it. I love playing new games I've never played before. So uh, catch you guys next time.